Okay, let's do a quick video real quick on the setups. Uh, right now we're in a flat market. Let's go over yesterday's trading a little bit. So we have four setups. We'll go over a, a quick recap we'll try to do in the room here. Um, the indicator you're going to be getting and strategy um, has four setups we're going to look for. Um, there's two separate uh, there's two separate file there's one file you're going to be getting with uh, uh, the indicator and the strategy. So you can plot the indicator by itself on the chart, or you can do the strategy with the indicator, or the strategy by itself, or the indicator by itself. All right, let's go over the four setups. First of all, on the row and make this nice, short, and sweet for you. Um, first of all, uh, these yellow dots are our ATR dot, our average true range in the market, and they're going to stay yellow until the market starts going vertical. When the market starts going vertical, this is because of our speed bars here. Our speed bars will tell us when the market's going to go vertical. Like if you just use a regular ATR, a standard regular ATR, it doesn't tell you if the market is vertical or flat. The market can only do two things. We go vertical or we're flat. So the speed bars help us out by letting us know if the market is going vertical, and that's when we want to look for setups. So according to using the methodology that we're trying to educate traders with is that we want to try to get in trades when the ATR turns yellow to green or yellow to red. If it turns yellow to green, then you have a possible move up. Yellow to green, possible move up. Now yesterday wasn't a really hard move up but you can see the setups inside of the ATRs. And we'll go over that. So when you only see yellow, if we're printing yellow like we're doing this morning, we're printing a yellow right now. Currently the market's flat, so we don't have any trade setups right now currently. But if you see, here's a longer ATR and there's a shorter ATR. The reason I have dual ATRs is that you have a setup called a dual ATR setup that will happen inside of a longer ATR. So let's go over that first of all. Let's first go over a couple setups that we like to do. The first setup is a simple retracement setup that's going to fire a triangle inside of a running ATR. So what you could do is only look for setups inside of green ATRs or red ATRs. So you got a retracement setup. Hey, Brian, good morning. A retracement setup, that would be this right here when you get, let me make this nice and big. A retracement setup would happen when you're inside of a running ATR and you get a retracement to that ATR without violating the ATR. So this would be a retracement setup. So you got a running ATR, your triangle fires, there's your entry, your stop would be a close outside of that ATR. This it fired inside of the shorter term ATR. Now the second setup would be then would be your WPT setup that's catching the rolling position traders. That's why we call it a WPT. Now what that is, that's when you get an opposite color, opposite color speed bar, meaning if the if we are in a red, I mean if we are in a green ATR move up meaning the market's in an uptrend, then when it comes down to our longer ATR, it, it almost never will happen on the shorter ATR. It always comes down to the longer ATR. It's a deeper retracement. So the WPT, the retracement trade can happen on a shallow or deep retracement, meaning in the shorter ATR or, or longer. But the WTP almost always happens when you get a deep retracement down to the symmetry dots and you get a um, you get an opposite color speed bar. So if you have a green ATR dots that are printing, you know you have a valid possible setup on a deep retracement. If it prints an opposite color red bar, red uh, bar like this, or red uh, box, I'm sorry, and closes red box, that is a potential major reversal. This is when you get a lot of Rolling position traders are counter trend traders trying to fade the market, and that's when you try to get a low. The first green color candle, or that would be a positive market delta, would be your entry would be this bar. Your stop would be two ticks below the swing low. 
The great thing about WPT trades is the risk is very small. It's very limited. And the reversals are quite uh, nice because what happens is, is if you get in at the reversal bar, your stop is right below the low of that bar, two ticks below that bar, because this should reverse the market, the WPT. All right, the close below, I mean, the uh, market delta will reverse it, so that's a WPT trade. So, but WPTs are nice because you get a deep retracement and they're very small risk versus high reward. The third trade is a dual ATR trade. Now, this is the reason you can put two ATRs on top of one chart. The reason being is if you get a longer ATR, see here we turn yellow, which is not trending yet. The first green says we're trending. What happens is when they do ATR is once your shorter ATR starts printing green also, you have two running ATRs that are running parallel, parallel with each other. So now they're running parallel with each other. You have a longer and a shorter ATR. The setup happens when your ATR cuts off. Okay, see, it cut off here. So we're waiting for the ATR to resume here for a dual ATR, but it never does. It comes down to a deeper retracement WPT, which is a trade setup, catches the low. This one, it does catch it. So our longer ATR starts, the trend starts here, it starts yellow to green. So now we're looking for buy setups, yellow to green, or short ATR, dual ATR, yellow to green. What happens with the dual ATR, the entry is this, is that you want to wait until the first shorter ATR stops printing. That means we busted inside of the shorter ATR looking for a little deeper retracement. So your entry is going to be a resumption of the dual ATR dots. So the shorter ATR dots, once they resume, the first dot that comes in, that is your entry. Your stop is going to be this ATR, the shorter ATR, not the longer ATR. That's called a dual ATR setup. The great time to use these trades is when the market, typically three out of five days, we get really good trend days from that, uh, or around the 940 time of day trade. You'll see a lot of these just really come up at a really optimal time, and the market really fires off them really hard. So that is your dual ATR trade. That's when you have two that are parallel with each other. The shorter stops printing. It starts reprinting. The first stop that comes in, that's your momentum trade to pop into the market. The four trade is more of a momentum trade. This works also in great trend days um, well, for resumption of trend. And this is called a Momo trade. Now, a Momo trade is where you actually start right from the get-go. If you have, what I do is I put three of them up, and you can three ATRs up, and you can use two. If I have a 23 ATR, an 18 ATR, an 11 ATR, and they all start printing at the same time, meaning they're all three yellows, and then they all start green at the same time. Then a momentum trade happens, and this is where you can enter right here at this bar. So at this candlestick, you can enter right there on the breakout, and your stop is two ticks below that swing bar, and then you can see the momentum brings you straight through. The reason this works well, if the market's now going to do a deep retracement like this on a WPT, sometimes what happens is the market just takes off, and we see these ATRs just start printing yellow to green or yellow to red immediately and you see an explosion in the market. And you'll see 10, 20 S&P point moves that go straight up. We've seen it, members seen it over and over again, where you see a momentum trade get in, and they'll never give a retracement. It'll just go straight up 10 points or straight down 10 points. This allows you to capture that. And your risk is limited again. Your risk is two ticks below that swing bar. You don't have to even do the ATR on that if you don't want to. On a momentum trade, you get in a momentum trade over here. There's your momentum entry. Right here, momentum entry would be this candle. You can even go two bars back right here, two ticks below the swing low. Look how limited your risk is, and you get a nice push up, and that was a nice little seven S&P point potential move. So those are the four setups you want to look for. Uh, the, the least amount of risk would be a WPT because you're catching, you're catching these right at a swing. If, you, if I look at a WPT, um, uh, the other day we just had, had one right here. The WPTs, when they work out quite well, so here's the first WPT that happened uh, right, at the, right at the ATR. You can see it down here. WPTs are very, very lower risk trades with high potential reward because you're catching, that's my longer ATR. That's a 23, 25 ATR with a running 
with a with a uh, running green ATR. So you can tell the WPT caught the exact low of that move. Big push up. I mean, that was a 56 potential buy all the way up to 73. So you're talking about a big giant S&P point move with small risk. Here, another deep retracement, WPT. It's on support on my ATR that's green right there. And then again, right there's my another WPT right at the low. The beautiful thing about the WPT, if you have my symmetry dots, my symmetry dots and WPT at confluence. Here's my symmetry dots right below it. The WPTs line up right on it. If you get a reversal bar right on a WPT or a symmetry dot, like this one, like this one, like this one, you have very low relative risk to high potential reward. It's very high reward to risk trade. All right, but if you get inside, let's check out a running ATR. So here's a momentum trade. That's a Momo trade. So let's take a look at our other trades. So those are WPTs. This is a momentum entry. Caught that move up. You can see well, the HSR ATR all the way up. But this is also a dual ATR trade where it stopped printing. Here we have a longer ATR, right? Our ATR is printing right here. You can watch it. So our, our ATR is actually start printing back here to show trend. It caught trend all the way back here at around my 940 to 945 trade. I'm telling you, if you want to watch this from 940, 938 to 946, 47, you typically get these big skinny moves. Three out of five days a week, you'll see a 940 catching these nice moves on this ATR. So if you look, we actually got more WPTs. I'm sorry. So here's where the move initially started. All right, yellow, 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 green, green. Now we're in possible trend. Longer ATR, shorter ATR. Now we're in possible trend. We're moving up. That's your momentum entry here. Momentum entry started right here early on the move. Look at your momentum entry early on the move. Big potential right there. Then we get a retracement entry with a triangle. Retracement entry with the triangle on the way up. But look at your WPT, how it caught it. It caught one right at the low, two right at the low, three right the low, four right the low. So the WPT to me, I really love it with the longer ATRs because it lets you know when you're on major support with the SIM dots and also my green ATR, red ATR. But if it's a yellow ATR printing on my longer term, stay away. This indicated trend all the way up, all the way up from 940, all the way up. It still kept printing. It's still printing at 2.30 in the afternoon. It told you keep buying the retracement, buy the trade, buy the retracement here on support, buy the retracement here on support, buy the WPT, buy the WPT, buy the WPT. So look at the shorter ATR, what it does though. It lets you know when we're going back into speed and when you're going to have a dual ATR retracement. So your dual ATR retracement happened where? It started at the same time here. It's going parallel, 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 parallel. Get a WPT entry, you had a retracement entry, retracement entry, but here is your entry right there. There is your dual ATR retracement that caught the move up also. And then here's a dual ATR retracement here also. Because see it stopped printing. It stopped printing here in the shorter term. This opposite color, shorter term told you we're going to chop mode, but we're still in a longer term move up. So right when it starts printing right there is a dual ATR trade right at this level. Your stop is your shorter ATR, moves up again. So you can see the WPTs are very effective. Momos catch the original point of move, the dual ATR trade, and then we get the retracement trade.